Good morning, Life Point Church. Welcome back to our last day, day five of our lesson. And this whole week, we talked about Abram, we talked about his family, the decisions that he made, and man, do we serve a faithful God. He was always there for Abram, and I'm so glad that he's always there for us. No matter where we are, the decisions that we make, when we turn back to God, he's there for us. Now we see finally, uh, Abram was trusting God. He was getting on the right path, him and his wife, and they had the promised child, even though they made uh, bad decisions, right? They had Isaac, they had their promise. And I think finally, they finally trusted God with everything that they had. Uh, they knew that no matter what, that God was going to be there for them, that, that they, they held on to these promises and said, nothing's going to take that away um, from me, and that God's always going to be there. So they had their promise, and it wasn't long after, um, we think that Isaac was about a teenager at this time, that um, Abram understood and heard from God that he was to sacrifice that promise unto God. And man, the, the things that must have went through his mind, right? What, what, what do you mean? This is the promise that I finally received and now I have to sacrifice it back to God? In, in fact, the people that um, were so wretched, that were so evil in that day, they routinely sacrificed children in that time. How in the world can a God so good that I know ask me to do the evil things that the world is doing? This can't be right. He must have gotten in his mind somehow and said, I know God can do everything, anything, and I finally trust God that if God wants me to do this, he's going he's gonna to raise him up from the dead. Right, that will be a cool thing to think or, or, or see, so I'll go ahead and do it. You know, I trust God. So we, we find Abram, he finally trusts God with everything he has, right? Um, and he's going up to the mountain, and he's, he's going to make a sacrifice, and he's telling Isaac, well, God's going to provide, right? Um, <clears throat> and he must think, man, he, he, he's, he's binding Isaac, and he's getting the wood ready. He's going he's gonna to kill his son, and he's going to make this sacrifice. And I think through all that, he's thinking God's going to do something great. God's going to do something wonderful. He's going to raise Isaac. Something great's going to happen. And he trusted God, and he raised that knife. And he was ready to do anything that God asked him to do. He was totally willing and totally able. And he was faithful that God was going to do something great. And God did. He called out. And he said, Abram, Abraham. And he said, here am I. And he stopped him in that moment. <clears throat> and it was a test. Finally, through Abram all his life, all the decisions he made, not trusting God, not really fully committed to God's purpose. He finally was fully committed. He finally trusted God and he showed that with what he was willing and able to do. And God was still there for him, protecting his sacrifice, pr protecting his promise that he had uh, for Abraham's life. And, and we know that God was still faithful. Um, but Abram, Abraham was finally um, fully committed to God's plan and his word. And he was able to bless Abraham and bless the generations that would come after him. He would become the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He would become their God because somebody finally decided to fully commit to God. Now I hope we find ourselves in a place where we're ready to commit to God fully, 100%. And I pray that God would bless the generations that come after us. I pray that God would bless our families. And I believe in that promise that when we're able to fully commit, that God would bless our household and He would bless the things around us. Remember, Lot was even blessed by Abraham because he was around him. I, play, I pray that God would bless your surroundings, that he would bless your day today, and he would bless you tomorrow. Let's be fully committed, church, in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for joining me this week, and I look forward to worshiping with you again soon. Thank you.